what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about supply drops in modern warfare and why you shouldn't buy a single one now i'm sure by now if you guys are paying attention to the call of duty community you've probably seen the leak brought to you by the gaming revolution on twitter talking about supply drops and what is going to be inside of those supply drops now if you didn't know the gaming revolution is a very reliable leaker for call of duty uh he basically leaks the gunsmithing system for modern warfare multiplayer and also leaks the compass at the top of the screen replacing the mini map for the uh for the beta so if you guys haven't seen the tweet this is what he said he says who wants 300 plus emotes in supply drops who wants 500 plus titles who wants over 200 sprays in supply drops yay 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 weapons are coming to forget about any cosmetic only malarkey now people at infinity ward and activision have basically come out saying like hey don't believe all the leaks that you're seeing online things like that uh and the only reason the only reason that they actually came out and uh, defended themselves against this tweet is because this tweet caused a a firestorm across youtube people reporting on the news like i am now telling you about this uh terrible news essentially this is like the worst case scenario uh and they actually saw pre-orders drop for call of duty modern warfare people actually going and canceling their pre-orders and that's the only reason that activision would ever acknowledge something like this is when their bottom line is affected when they're losing money and losing sales that's when they're going to step in not because they want the game to be good not because they're consumer friendly but once they figure out that they're going to lose a couple thousand dollars that's when they start to say stuff and, and whatever the case is so regardless we know that activision is filled with a, a bunch of, of scummy businessmen who have ruined call of duty titles in the past and i will say that the supply drop system is a fluid system this is something that they can tweak along the way it's not like the they set it in stone print it on the disc and then they can't change it later they always can add new things remove things change drop rates change how much you get how quickly you get them for free so i will just add that one little caveat basically saying like hey look this isn't set in stone but this is a very reliable um, leak about what they actually do have planned at least for launch and if this leak wasn't enough there was actually a player in the beta who when he leveled up on the unlock screen in the after action report uh it actually said that he unlocked one common supply drop so we know supply drops obviously it's a given they're in the game uh and the fact that they would have over 300 emotes 500 titles and 200 sprays in supply drops means that they are worth repeat after me supply drops are worth nothing they are worth zero dollars the only thing that would make supply drops worth anything based on this information is that there are going to be weapons in these supply drops that are not simply reskins they are actual variants actual weapons in the game with their own unique stats uh similar to advanced warfare and this is why it's crucial that everybody who watches this video refuses to spend a single dollar on supply drops because Activision needs to know that the Call of Duty player base is not going to accept pay to win microtransactions. It's just not going to happen. We need to, the only way that we can get this point across to Activision is by voting with our dollars and saying, look, these supply drops are not something that I'm willing to spend money on because look, the emotes useless it's a first person game nobody cares about your emotes and the game will be over in a year who cares titles really really there's enough titles in the game that you can earn on your own who cares about some random bs common title it doesn't matter they're not cool and sprays are you kidding me i forget that sprays are even in the game and having 200 possible sprays and supply drops the only reason that supply drops are filled with this much fluff garbage is to make these the drop rate of the guns so low that you have to spend 20 40 60 100 200 dollars just to get the powerful guns that you know that they are planning on putting in these supply drops so most likely if you purchase supply drops in modern warfare you're going to get an abundance of this common 
garbage this cosmetic stuff that no one cares about you don't care about the team doesn't care about the enemy no one cares about it right you're not gonna look cool in game it's gonna look stupid it's gonna be like wow like i bought a bunch he bought 25 dollars of a supply drop little loser like that's what it's going to signify to the majority of the player base and i'm telling you listen the drop rate is going to be low the drop rate for these guns is going to be low okay do not spend your money on these supply drops because the odds are you're not going to get the gun anyway unless you're spending a hundred dollars two hundred dollars on supply drops you're not going to get the good gun and eventually they're going to patch that gun so that way it's not the best gun anyway because there's going to be community backlash we saw this with advanced warfare we saw this with black ops 4 it's it, it's 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 common knowledge at this point as to how this is going to play out and we have to nip this in the bud before the game even comes out we have to say look we're not buying these supply drops we're not paying to win everyone is spending 60 dollars on the base game like they do every year and of course they're not doing a season's pass that's fine i understand that that's a good move right it's good that the that the maps are going to come to everybody for free we're getting cross play there's a lot of good things that activision is doing for this game uh but pay to win gambling is the worst possible outcome because not only is paying to win garbage in a 60 dollar game but also the rest of the stuff in the supply drops being emotes titles and sprays are useless they're absolutely useless right at least in advanced warfare if you didn't get one of the royalty elite guns you could at least get the chance of getting a kraken helmet or a gingerbread suit or something that was like unique and you know kind of funny or cool or flashy or, or glowing or whatever but a title a spray an emote for a first person shooter who cares about any of that stuff they're basically relying on from this what we know here they're relying on the weapons to sell the supply drops and we need to say listen this isn't gonna fly it's not gonna work no one's spending our money on it to make things worse it looks like the salvage system isn't even coming back so earning credits for free just isn't gonna be a thing in modern warfare and so that's another shot right in the foot um, but I do want to clarify that I don't think this has anything to do with Infinity Ward right like this just doesn't have anything to do with them but Call of Duty is owned by Activision so ultimately Activision has the final say as to how the game is monetized and what is implemented and and everybody knows at this point uh, that Activision is the is the person pulling the is the company pulling the strings when it comes to supply drops and they're going to try to make this game as abusive as possible in terms of their anti-consumer practices which is what supply drops are i mean there's a reason that countries there are other countries that are trying to pass legislation to make supply drops uh, illegal especially in games that kids play uh, because it's 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 gambling you're spending money gambling trying to get something um and call of duty doesn't even tell you what the drop rates are so it's not even like you can make an educated guess and say well look the drop rate for the best gun in the game is one percent I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to knowing that I'm not going to buy, right? They keep it all in the dark. They don't want anyone to know. So this is what we know about supply drops so far. They're going to be in the game. They're going to be filled with fluff garbage. They're going to be filled with guns that are pay to win. And I can guarantee you as soon as they put in the first pay to win gun, it's going to be the best gun in the game. I promise. I promise you we're going to see guns in there that are really, really good. And this is mind blowing because it's it would be so easy for them to to make money in other ways they could easily make money in other ways that don't affect the consumer this poorly i mean i'm cool with supply drops as long as they're cosmetic only and the cosmetic stuff is worth paying for you can't fill you can't say oh don't worry they're cosmetic only and then it's filled with garbage that no one cares about like no one's gonna buy that anyway of course you you, you see a decline in sales when it's cosmetic only because you're not even trying so they there's a way to do cosmetic only correctly and call of duty somehow hasn't figured it out even though advanced warfare did it just fine except they also included guns which was the problem and guys i would just like to say for the record just in my own self-defense the other day i posted a video telling people to cancel their pre-order or to not pre-order call of duty modern warfare to begin with because i myself haven't done it and i explained why and the day i posted that we found out that the survival mode was exclusive to playstation for a full year which is effectively the entire life cycle of modern warfare and now we're coming we're seeing these leaks confirming that there's going to be guns in supply drops that are not just reskins they're going to actually be 
guns that are good in the game i know they're going to be good it's because they want to sell as many supply drops as possible so that's two reasons alone that activision has basically slapped the community in the face and i got some backlash for that video people were posting some negative comments i was getting down votes on that video because people were saying screw you i'm gonna pre-order the game i can do what i want with my money and look like you can you can do whatever you want with your money but the points that i was making in that video at least some of them were valid points uh and here we're seeing activision getting greedy like they do every year and people really need to realize that there there's not going to be any change until you start to spend money differently on call of duty meaning don't buy supply drops don't pre-order the game like that's the most important thing don't give don't guarantee activision money right don't let them rest on the their laurels right because they're going to release a really cool trailer everyone's going to pre-order resist the urge <laughs> because this is what's going to happen this is what's going to happen we're going to get leaks about a ridiculous uh one year ex exclusivity we're going to get leaks about uh, an abusive a cons a to the consumer it's basically abusing the consumer uh because we know that the supply drops are going to have good guns in them like we know it's gonna happen it happened with black ops 4 right black ops 4 was supposed to be cosmetic only and what happened it didn't have it didn't turn out that way because activision wanted more money um and we're gonna see the same thing for modern warfare if they if they see the backlash from this and they decide to make it cosmetic only i guarantee you six months after release they're gonna put guns in the spy drops i know it's gonna happen right i know it's gonna happen so guys i just want to defend myself a, a real quick there saying look there's at least here's at least two new reasons to cancel your pre-order and wait to see what the game is like on launch um, because this is actually really bad this is bad news right like this is really bad news for modern warfare the game was looking good the community was loving it after the beta uh and and of course of course every year there's something that activision does to make the game terrible they always do this um and i'm hoping that they see the backlash they pull back a little bit and reevaluate a way that they can do supply drops without ruining our experience and a way for maybe pc uh gamers and xbox gamers to get the survival mode sooner than a year right hopefully you know ev even if it's six months that's ridiculous but at least they get it for the part of the lifespan of the game right but anyway guys i just want to bring you this video talking about supply drops i'm i'm praying that nobody watching this video is going to spend money on supply drops i'm begging you because it has a greater effect on the community i promise you are voting with your money don't give them your money for this this bs please it, it affects everybody i know you don't think it does but it does it we are one whole community and how each individual spends their money has an effect on the game that we're all playing guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to see the next call of duty video that i post on this channel make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and if you learned anything new comment down below telling me what you think about supply drops what do you think is going to happen do you think activision is going to change their mind do you think they're going to you know leave it and then implement it later i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section below and of course if you guys want join my discord in the links in the description below you can come talk to me hang out ask me questions post memes and and all of my social media links are also in the description below if you want to follow me on there i post more regularly than i do here on youtube and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace